Sometimes I get a photo in my mind and it requires very specific conditions. The uh, specific conditions that I need for this shot are snow, fall, and a river. Ugg sent me two pairs of boots, and one of them is new and more waterproof than the other one, so that's why I Mr. Rogered that. Look who it is again. Again. I haven't been rafting like all summer. And here it is, October 19th. <laughs> For some reason he likes my dumb ideas. This parking lot is usually stacked like two or three deep and there's never a parking spot here in the summer. But right now it's just Levi, some poor soul with a Passat, and uh, me, and I'm leaving. to put in and there's a little problem here is that I didn't I've never put in here there's rock so you can't go down to the bottom so I guess we're gonna have to gonna have to drag it three two one oh, that's not bad <laughs> Colder down by the river. <laughs> All right, we're underway. This was a good idea, right? Yeah, it was a good idea. See that yellow color right there? That's what we came for. We got a leak. Where? Right there. Oh, like the valve was about to pop out. Yeah. Going down with the ship. It wouldn't be complete without something like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's not snowing, but it's not full on raining. It's just kind of these big globs. Very wet. cold I'm uh, definitely over this and I'm glad we made it <laughs> hey let's get out of here dang it no yep 
This is what I was looking for. There are some moments where the conditions don't align. I mean, it's not every day that you get fresh snow or golden larches or you can take time to float on a raft. Sometimes the light sucks and your scene is not very interesting. And when that happens, the professionals, they break out the big guns, lights or diffusion or Atmos. It's actually just a giant smoke gun that they bust out and it's got like a chainsaw that powers it and it sounds loud and it blows all this smoke. And I've always, I've always wanted one because you can make a foggy, moody scene anytime that you want. But when I researched them, I found out that they were like $700, which is just way too much money for what I wanted to spend, so I bought this guy. It's an insect fogger. It does pretty much exactly what the big machines do, like this little coil here atomizes or whatever. It just doesn't have a motor. You use this hand pump here. It came with this really toxic spray stuff that I didn't use, of course. Instead, I got this stuff, which is, um, I don't even, it's called formula, or I didn't look at what it's called. It's just from an LA prop house. I think. It works just as good as the big machine. I mean, it's smaller, but I don't need the huge machines. You just turn on the propane here, give it a little light, wait five minutes. Then it starts smoking like this and you have as much smoke as you want and it doesn't, doesn't make you cough. And you get scenes that look like this. I don't recommend you use it inside though because that's really hot, but outside it's perfect. It's mostly just a toy, but I put a link for this thing in my bio, so if you're feeling bored and you want to shoot some fake fog and feel a little bit inspired, that's what I wanted to do, uh, you can check it out. special because little Isla she turns seven years old good lord I can't believe that nobody tells you when you have kids how much you're gonna like hanging out with them I mean I just don't want them to get bigger or older every moment I cherish with them and I didn't want it to end and I don't want Isla to be seven because that means she's not six and I wasn't expecting that